Here's a fascinating concept. I call it left digit management. I'll explain how it works and how you use it in your pricing. My name's Mark Wickersham. I'm the Amazon number one best-selling author of Effective Pricing for Accountants. So let's look at left digit management. I'm going to start with some numbers. Imagine that you have a price that's 390, for argument's sake. Now, if you've looked at my previous work or studied price psychology, you'll have heard of something called the power of nine and the reasons why you'll want to consider a nine ending. So whilst you could price something at 390, 389 is very often a better price point. It's only one pound or one dollar less, but what you'll find is you'll get more conversions. It's because of the power of nine. However, there's something even more powerful that we can use, which I call left digit management. Let's have a look at this price, 400. If you have a price of 400 for one of your services, and you then test it at 399, it's still only a one pound difference, or a one dollar difference. But actually the perception is it's an even bigger difference still. And the reason for this is because of the way that we read prices. This was the study of some research back in 2005 by Thomas and Morwitz, and it was published in the Journal of Consumer Research. It was called Pennywise and Pound Foolish, uh, the left digit effect in price cognition. And in a nutshell, what this study showed us is that because we read from left to right, we place a greater emphasis on the first digit that we read. In other words, if we just go back uh, to this first pair of numbers, when we read 390 and 389, they both start with a 3. And so there don't seem that great a difference. We've only got the power of 9 coming into play here. But when we see £400 as a price and 399, it's still only a pound difference, but we place far greater emphasis on the first digit. So because this price starts with a four and this price starts with a three, it feels like a much bigger difference than it really is. This is powerful stuff. And so you should always be thinking about left digit management. Whenever you create your prices, what can you do to make the one that you really want them to buy seem a lot lower than it really is. If you like this video, please do share it. There'll be a share button somewhere you can share. And even more important, if you want to learn more about the secret world of price psychology, uh, which is fascinating, I've created a training program for you. It's called The Power of Price Psychology. And somewhere above or below this video, I've put a link for you. Go and click on that link now and you'll find out much more about the program. I'll see you on another video soon. Bye for now.